Uh, hello and welcome. Uh, today I want to sh to, uh, to teach about uh, how to edit a CV template. And a template is uh, our lady designed uh, like work. Uh, for example, a CV, a CV template is a already designed CV, which means your work is just to edit. Uh, to put in the content according to customize the content of that CV and uh, So it's uh, the CV that you can see here. It's a very modern CV and uh, It's very easy to edit to suit to suit you. So uh, this CV is divided into three uh, Three section the first section is the head section whereby you have the name and your title and then you have the second section or uh, it's a column the left column and then this column it's it goes uh, all the way to the bottom of the page and to the next of the page and it is one so you can edit from top to the bottom and then from that point you can move next to the other section which is the light column so we are going to start by editing the name so if you click inside uh, for example if you want to edit the name you just click inside the name and then the cursor is, is going to appear there and then you can change the name for example you can change this name uh, or change this name to Mwangi just put capital letter i prefer writing the name in capital letter sorry about that and then if you want to change the title you can change it so you just select it or and write uh, you're going to write business development business development so and then if you need to change now that section you are done with so that is it's as simple as that it's just editing then you come to the section of uh, contact information you just click wherever you want to change if you want for example if you want to change the name you can just the I mean the phone number you can just delete where you don't want and change it to your number for example let's just change you just select and then you put the number that you want okay and you can even add another section so the best way to add another section let's say you have a, let's say you have a linkedin account the best way uh, linkedin uh, let's say you have a linkedin the best way to do it is just select for example this one for example the email and then you copy then down here you just click enter then you paste uh, i usually control i usually do control v but for the sake of this tutorial then to right click and paste and then you paste with the first option which keep uh, it mean keep source formatting so once you do that now you can say you can change to you can say this is linkedin I type here LinkedIn. Okay, my keyboard has a problem. Linked in, and then you type your LinkedIn. Uh, your LinkedIn uh, link. You give your link. Your link LinkedIn. Dot com. Blah 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 blah. So you give your a LinkedIn uh, link. So that's how you do it. Then if you come to your education, we usually start with the uh, year and then you put your the course you did and then you put the university you went to you went to and then you put your high school uh, high school as in you usually start from the bo uh, from the top to bottom or from the more reason to you are going that way so you put your uh, uh, university degree you put your high school certificate your primary certificate if you have to 
not necessarily i usually prefer putting the uh, university and high school and then you put your most listened trainings that you have attended or workshop this uh, this usually is very important especially in keeping up with the uh, current trade in your industry so you put training if necessary you can put uh leadership and as I, I want to remind you it's as simple if you want to edit anything it's as simple as clicking now we have here areas of expertise this is very important section areas of expertise is uh, also same as skills okay so here you put usually show you show you uh, uh, your employee your employer what you can do for them what are your skills and here is where you showcase all your skills and uh, usually process that when you're lighting your skills here if for example you're applying for a job that you saw in a website uh, usually nowadays or if you are you're going to apply a job maybe using uh, this web platform like um, this web platform i'm not going to say to name any web platform but if you're going to apply a job using those web applic uh, web application it's better that you go through that application what are the duties what are the requirements and look for those keywords that they are using and then when you're writing your areas of expertise you are um, career summary make sure that you use those kind of keys keyword that they are uh, they that they have used that is because uh, nowadays there is there's this thing called ATS. It's a application. ATS stands for application tracking system. And basically, those are softwares that uh, track the application, and they they usually filter those application out. The one that the, does not uh, meet the criteria set for that job, they sh they are usually filtered out, and just a few CV usually go pass through the ATS system. So it's very important and one of the way to pass those ITS system is to use the keyword that uh, in the job advertisement those keyword the same keyword that were used so I'm going to that's just I'm going just to touch about the uh, that areas of uh, expertise then we have hobbies hobbies you just it's a simple just saying what you like then on this section the light column now this one is professional experience professional summary it's all about uh your career now so here is where you put you show where you have worked for where you have worked and again it's so simple it's just editing it's just clicking and editing and in work experience you usually start with uh, what which job you are doing as what is your title and then you put the company that you're working for and then the date and then you put your duties remember when it comes to duties and responsibility you don't have to put each and every duty you do it's uh, it's better that you select the most powerful uh, duties that you do and the one that will help you to get the next job and then as you can see it show the job um the work experience from the most recent going all the way backward and then down here we have the referees the referees again it's in a text box and as you can see if you need to edit you just select inside that text box and click inside and then you can be able to edit same case uh it's a simple the template is so easy to use now after you are done you just come to file and click file just uh, come to file and then you save us most uh, employees are going to request a cv in a pdf format so you select save as type you select pdf and then you write your name so you have to write your name uh, George Mwangi CV, that's a very professional way of doing it, and then you save, and then you're going to see how our CV So, George Mwangi. So, there it is. There it is. It's very professional. It's a very professional CV. 
now if you want to download this template just head over to google just type uh, cvshaper.com cvshaper.com then head over to on uh, downloads then click cv or resume templates Then from there, this is, this is a business development CV template. It's loading my internet, it's lagging. I don't know what's up. Mm. So here we have different uh, CV formats, different CV template, and they are easy downloading them. It's easy editing them. It's even more easy. So I'll, I'm, I'll be showing you. Uh, how to edit this template so the template that uh, I have downloaded is this one it's just a matter of clicking and then the, uh, it's going to ask you for a few things and then you're going to be able to download and save it where you want and then you can be able to edit so that's it for uh, today and I hope you have learned how to edit this CV and I uh, hope you have learned a few things so thank you so so much and uh, subscribe to my channel as well so that you can learn a few more things that you might not be knowing so thank you so much